Hello there, hola, and welcome to my YouTube channel here at Benidorm and Beyond. I'm an English woman who's lived right here in this town for over 20 years now, and my aim is to give you a different take on all there is to see, do, and enjoy in Benidorm and the surrounding areas, so here we go. Today's vlog takes us on a beautiful early morning walk along the Levante Beach Promenade. It's so refreshing to be out in the very earliest part of the day when the sun has just risen and the air still has a slightly crisp feel to it and it's the perfect time for photographers and vloggers like me to get some wonderful photos and footage of the glistening Mediterranean Sea. It's also a perfect time for workers to get in their morning exercise too before the busy events of the coming day as well as dog walkers giving their pooches a stretch of their legs and many pensioners ambling along taking their time to wake up and greet another new day of leisure. The light is always beautiful at this time of morning and changes by the minute and as I walked along the prom I encountered more and more people taking advantage of this quiet and tranquil part of the morning. As we carry along you can see that the beach is freshly ploughed from the tractor's visits last night with less people about to disturb the stands early morning on a day such as this. Moving back to Avenida de Madrid, or the Promenade, you can see that the Rincón de Loix Christmas tree is up already in its usual prime position, topped by a silver star. On the Playa Levante Sands, all the water sports kiosks have gone, except for one, still advertising boat rental and snorkelling, and it cut a rather lonely figure compared to only last month when the stands were still bustling with business. The resort being quieter right now is of course completely normal however, as after the November fiestas and before the Christmas fortnight itself, we always experience a lull, with many cabaret bars choosing to close down until Christmas Eve or thereabouts. That said, the likes of Morgan Tavern, the Western Saloon, Hotel California, Red Lion 1 and 2 and the brand new Sinatras are all still open and have live music acts on nightly, meaning there is still always something to entertain you here in our beloved Benidorm. Continuing on, we pass the Artigas 2 restaurant, which has been here for many years. And for those of you who are interested in temperatures, it is currently between 14 and 18 degrees in the daytime and down to as low as 9 degrees at night. With showers forecast on and off for the next week, which is only to be expected in December. And as we usually experience an average of 300 days of sunshine a year, we can't really complain too much. If you'd like to support my channel and future vlogs by making a small donation, you can now buy me a coffee, or even two or three. Just click on the down arrow next to the vlog title which brings you to the description of this video. Then follow the link provided at the bottom, it's really that simple. Thank you so much. After a tattoo parlour we then pass a small row of mainly British style pubs and cafe bars. These start with Lil Bob's Beach Bar, followed by the Beach Terrace and then the Lazy Cow, all who offer cooked English or Scottish breakfasts, as well as cocktails and beer bucket deals. Passing the great swathe of water on the Levante Sands that still hasn't fully cleared since our last downpour, as this is where the storm drain pumps out all of its accumulated water directly onto the beach, on the corner we finally see the Articus 3 Cafe Bar. I will now let you sit back and enjoy the rest of the video and the sights and sounds of early morning Benidorm. Then please check out some of my other vlogs which cover a huge variety of different subjects, including reviews on hotels, cafes and bars, as well as lots of news and updates on things that are happening around the resort. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you out and about next time. Ciao for now, adios and goodbye.